Today is finally the freaking day um, I'm going to get a tattoo. Um, I've been wanting to get one for like so freaking long. Um, I'll talk a bit about more of that later, but for now, I've got to get my goddamn ass um, to, to the place where I'm getting my tattoo, which is like a 20 minute drive away. Um, I'm going to keep it a surprise what I get, um, and then I'll explain a little bit more later. But before I leave, I need one last little nervous wee wee Okay, so I've just pulled up to like a random like freaking uh, side road. Um, I'm about to go in. I'm like, I'm kind of like, I don't know, like, I'm, I'm like jittery, but like, I don't know if it's good jitters or like, oh shit, I'm about to have a needle in my body uh, kind of jitters. So like, excited as well as a little bit nervous, like I mentioned earlier. And uh, I need a second bloody nervous wee. So uh, I better go because I've got literally like, I don't know, probably like five minutes before I need to... Uh, go in and have it done. Um, I'm gonna keep it a surprise um, where it's going and what it is of, but no, it's not a massive penis tattooed across my forehead, so uh, you're wrong with your guesses on that one. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go. I just feel like I'm staying in here rambling um, to avoid it, and I'm not because I want it done. So uh, yeah, let's go get that bloody thing done, and I shall see you in about an hour. Okay, so did I pussy out? Nope, I didn't. Bloody hell. Right, I'm out. It took about an hour. So it's not like the biggest, um, it's not the biggest design, but my leg right now, oh, I'm just giving away where it is. It's on my leg and my, my leg right now is hurting like a bitch. Like, I'm not going to lie. It's hurting like an absolute bitch, but, um, I've got to drive home. I've got to go into town randomly. So I'm not, I'm not going to come back to you for another, probably another hour or so, but I'll update you then. Um, all, all that I wanted to tell you was it went fine, um, but my leg, <laughs> my leg just stings like a bitch, and I've currently got cling film wrapped all around it. But um, but it was a decent experience. It wasn't an, it wasn't too unpleasant. Uh, but yeah, I'll talk about it more later. So uh, I shall see you in a bit. So I finally made it back home. Um, I, I was a lot longer than I had planned. Um, and I, the pain of my leg for some reason was like, the more I walked, the more it hurt. So I imagine it's probably not the smartest thing um, once you've got a tattoo, especially on your leg, to walk around town for like two hours. But, but, all is good. Nothing happened. No one twatted me with their trolley in the leg because otherwise I'd have bloody, I'd have slapped a bitch in the face. Um, so, there's, without further ado, I'm going to show you, but bear in mind, it's currently wrapped in cling film, blood and random bits of plasma, they said, is going to have been dripping from it, so it's not going to look the best right now, it's obviously going to look better over time as it heals, so if you're grossed out by a little bit of blood and a little bit of mankiness, then turn away now. So yeah, here is the final tattoo that I got. So yeah, the X basically means that it's to represent straight edge. And if you don't know what straight edge is, then basically I'm straight edge. If you don't know what it is, Google it. Or if not, um, I may talk about it in a video in the future. Who knows? Like, I never know. I may do. Instead of boring you for 10 minutes talking about it, I'll basically say it in a few simple words. I basically don't drink, don't smoke, um, and don't do drugs. That's basically the... The, prep, the basics of what straight edge is. If you're that bothered, you can read up about it, but I'm sure the majority of you don't really care about it. But yeah, I kind of wanted like, I, didn't, I wanted to be like the cliche like, 
Oh, the first tattoo you get's got to, the first tattoo that you get has got to have so much meaning. Um, so I guess I fit into that category in that sense because it does have a lot of meaning, and it's kind of like the way that I live my life, and it's kind of like I don't have to listen or follow what necessarily is considered the norm. So most people, it's going out drinking, getting absolutely trolleyed off their face, um, and then they look at me who doesn't drink, doesn't smoke, don't do drugs. And apparently that makes me boring, but I can have just as much of a fun time um, as everybody else that's drinking and smoking and doing all kinds of blooming drugs. But yeah, as you can see, it's in the it was in the cling film kind of rap. So currently, uh, well, right now in a second, I'm gonna have to go into the shower, uh, take the cling film off, and wash it. Uh, I'm gonna have to be like super careful, um, and then obviously dry it. Um, and then I've got to apply some like cream that I bought. It's called Bepanthin, I think. Um, and you have to basically do that, I think, twice a day. Or basically, basically, you have to, once it starts, the the cream like is dried. It's probably good a good idea to put another layer on or whatever, um, just to keep it nice and moisturised. Um, because otherwise it could get dry, the ink could go shitty. But yeah, I'm kind of learning as I go along. I've been like Googling like how best to look after it and basically retain the colour. Like I know it's black, but it's still a colour. Um, and the last thing I want to do is six months down the line, it, it has like massively faded. So I want to try and look into how the best way, um, the best method to basically like keeping the colour like vibrant and making it like really stick out. Um, so yeah, I, I'll... I'll go and wash my leg uh, in the shower, <laughs> uh, go put the bloody cream on and hopefully I'll show it you afterwards uh, and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's all nice and cleaned up and I'll talk a little bit about the pain because it might be interesting to hear. Might think cry like a little bitch but I'll still tell you about the pain in a second so I shall see you shortly. Oh my, look at all of that blood, look, <laughs> look at all that blood that was dripping, oh my word. Like literally, none is really left on there. There's not really much blood there. But down there is where it's all collected. And I think it's got to my sock. So time to put these socks in the bin. So what you're currently seeing um, is basically I've had a shower. Um, I, I All I used was like warm water, like not boiling. Otherwise that would have been like, it probably wasn't a good idea. Um, and then I just used like a non-sensitive like soap. Um, no, like a non-scented, sorry, soap, because apparently that can, like, irritate you, your tattoo. Um, and then afterwards, all I put onto it is I've rubbed on, like, a really thin layer, uh, th of this thing called Bepanthin, I think that's, that's how you pronounce the name. Um, and yeah, basically, I don't know what that does, I imagine it just helps, it, it's meant to be used for nappy rash, that's what it says on the front, um, but I imagine that it's recommended as one of the better things for, um, for, for healing a tattoo. Also, one thing I did forget to mention, I've just realised now as I'm editing it, um, if you think that the tattoo looks wonky or curved, it's not. Because basically, we, we I talked about this, because the, the designs that I saw, um, I thought they looked a bit wonky on other people, and I was like, why does it look so wonky? But basically, because of how each person's calf is, um, it's very hard. Apparently, he says that they're asymmetrical. Or not symmetrical. Whichever the one is where y your calves aren't symmetrical. So you're never going to make it look perfectly straight. Especially when, because your calf like curves round, doesn't it? Curves round your leg. And then you're trying to do straight lines on a curve. It just it just looks, it's never going to look perfect. So unless you had a 2D leg, uh, then obviously you just had a rectangle leg. Uh, a long thin rectangle as a leg. Then it would look perfectly symmetrical. But... But it's never going to perfectly look uh, symmetrical. I don't know why I've included this, but I just didn't want people to go, it looks like shit, Mike, because it's wonky and it's on the piss. It doesn't. It's just, we all have very weird calves. But yes, there we go. There's my little short video. Um, nothing special. I'll, I'll just mention about the pain. Um, I got told, like, they re obviously realised it was my first tattoo and they were like, oh, uh, how do you think you'll deal with the pain? And apparently the calf where I had obviously mine, um, is not that bad for pain. And they say that the outline is a lot more painful than the actual, like, filling it in. And they were wrong. They were bloody wrong because the outline at certain parts, like, especially when it got higher up my calf, like, I think it's because the skin's thinner or there isn't as thick, like, muscle, 
some of the some of it I wasn't like crying like a bitch or like moaning out loud. Um, but I was just kind of just like, oh yeah, I can feel that uh, because if, if you when you actually think about it, it's a needle going into your skin like hundreds of times a minute. Um, so it's not exactly like having a freaking full body massage. But um, yeah, the pain was. I'd say it was bearable, bearable for the majority of the time. Um, eventually, you just got numb to it anyway. You're like, oh, someone's just stabbed me in the leg again. That's fine, continue. Um, but the the filler, which apparently is meant to be less painful, nah, it wasn't. It was the outline was just as painful as filling it in. Um, again, it differs from person to person to person. Some people may find the entire thing painful. Some people may only find filling in painful and whatever. But um, yeah, so it each depends on each person how high your pain threshold is. I'd like to have thought mine was pretty decent. Um, and I guess that proved that it was, because it wasn't like I wasn't... that They were saying to me like how they were surprised that I wasn't moaning more, or I wasn't like in more pain. Um, I was kind of just like, I was just kind of like, I am in pain, really. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just putting on a facade that I'm really... Really brave. But yeah, I'm going to end this video here because otherwise it's going to get too long and rambly. And I don't want to ramble because I'm known to bloody ramble. Um, but yeah, if you want to see like an update in like a few weeks, then let me know in the comment section below. Uh, let me know if you've got a tattoo, where it is, what it's of, and how you've kind of like, uh, how you've healed yours. Because that might help help me out with, uh, with healing mine. Um, but yeah, other than that, I won't do an update unless you want to see how it looks in week's time or whatever. And maybe I can talk about my experiences and what's happened and if it's faded and if it now looks shit. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, but yeah, if you did enjoy this video, remember to give it a big old thumbs up. Subscribe down below. It is free. Uh, and yeah, other than that, tattoo discussion below if you want to. Um, and if you're looking to get a tattoo, talk about that. Maybe you can talk about uh, what tattoo you want to get. But yeah. I'm going to shut up, stop rambling, uh, rub some more stuff on my leg, and uh, go and eat food. So yeah, I shall see you uh, in the next video, whenever that is. Take care.